July 13, 1584, might easily be considered the birthday of North Carolina. On that day, Englishmen first spied the shore they would call the goodliest land under the cope of heaven. The commanders of the two small ships sent by Raleigh, Philip Amadus and Arthur Barlow, held a ceremony to claim the land in the name of Queen Elizabeth. They found an inlet across the outer banks and dropped anchor in the sound that the Indians call Roanoke. And thus began the long and prosperous recorded history of agriculture in the United States. In 1790, 93% of our country's population was rural. Most would consider themselves farmers. 200 years later, barely 2% of our country's population were farmers. Though we face challenging economic times, by comparison our food is cheap and grocery stores always have full shelves. Thus, many people take agricultural production for granted. In 1935, a moderate income farm family spent 47% of their total living on food. Today, that number is closer to 10%. In 1950, each farmer produced enough food for 27 other people. Today, that number is upwards of 137. Americans enjoy a food supply that is abundant, affordable, and among the world's safest, thanks in large part to the efficiency and productivity of America's farm and ranch families. Today, 2.2 million farms dot America's rural landscape. About 97% of U.S. farms are operated by families, individuals, family partnerships, or family corporations. Farm and ranch families comprise just 2% of the United States population. North Carolina agriculture has grown from subsistence farming with very little extra to trade or sell to a cash crop agriculture that is competitive in the world market. North Carolina agriculture contributes over $74 billion annually to our state's economy and accounts for over 19% of the state's income. Agriculture employs over 20% of North Carolina's workforce. In 
Camden County boasts over 47,000 acres of total farmland, bringing in an income of $47 million. The major commodities produced by Camden's farmers are corn, soybeans, wheat, cotton, and Irish potatoes. Camden County ranks fifth in corn production and seventh in vegetable production in the state of North Carolina. Total farmland in Pasquotank County is nearly 80,000 acres. Pasquotank farmers generate over $45 million of income. The major commodities produced by Pasquotank County farmers include corn, soybean, wheat, cotton, cabbage, and Irish potatoes. Pasquotank County ranks 8th in North Carolina in corn and soybean production and 10th in wheat production. There are 23,350 acres of total farmland in Currituck County. Those farms generate over $20 million of income. commodities produced by Currituck County farmers are corn, soybean, and wheat, and the county ranks 10th in corn production across the state. Thank you farmers, farm families, and agricultural workers, and we recognize the vital role that farming and agriculture play in ensuring an independent and prosperous nation. You are what makes agriculture in the Albemarle so great.